Okay, so we're in a square bay and uh, trying to fit a Denelm square bay track. Um, now the curtains are eyelet and there's a wooden button up here, but I, number one, it's too small. Um, number two, the eyelets would never fit over the top. So what I'm gonna try and do See if I can hang from the ceiling and work my way around the bay. So the first thing is to work out the positions of these. So I've held this up to find where the middle of the centre bracket is, which is there. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but I've got a pipe cutter that um, plumbers use, which is a wheel that you spin round and round and you just keep tightening it and it should go through the pole. Um, if this fails, I'll let you know and um, I'll have to go and get a hacksaw. So when you get the pole out of the packet, you can see that it's got grooves in one side and the instructions say that you must bend that towards you. So your knee goes on this side. Um, I didn't think it was going to go to 90 degrees, but I'm surprised. Just bent that round my knee. And I'm quite pleased because it's actually turned out to be 90 degrees, which will work really nicely up there. Okay, so put the centre bracket in. And I've opted for two on that end. And the first part of the curtain uh, the first eyelet will go there, there may be one or two eyelets, and then the rest of the curtain will start there, and go around to the centre. Same on both sides. As you can see, I'm fixing to the ceiling. Okay, so I think this is the only way to do it. So there's the middle, there's the bend. I've put the curtain on. The yeah. first one always points towards the window. And I've put um, a bracket, one, a bracket, and a finial on the end. So now I'm going to lift it up, put that end in, and then try and hold this end up while I um, do up those grub screws. Might need two people here.